Ladies and gentlemen, the Obama. Please have a seat. Well, welcome to the White House. It has been 200 years since Dolly Madison saved the portrait of George Washington that hangs in this room from an advancing British Army. Uh, so I guess you could say that the White House has always supported the arts. <laughs> I'm glad to say that Michelle has never had to save any paintings that I know of, <laughs> from Beau or otherwise. Uh, but we do believe in celebrating extraordinarily uh, talented Americans and their achievements in the arts and in the humanities. So I want to thank Jane Chu and Bro Adams, the chairs of the National Endowment of the Arts and the National Endowment of the Humanities for their outstanding work. And I want to thank members of Congress, including a great champion of the arts, Nancy Pelosi, for joining us this afternoon. <laughs> the late, great Maya Angelou once said, a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Each of the men and women that we honor today has a song, literally in some cases. Uh, for others, it's a talent or a drive or a passion that they just had to share with the world. Uh, to our honorees, uh, like most creative and brainy people, uh, you did not cultivate your song for accolades or applause. If there were no medal for your work, I expect you'd still be out there designing buildings and making movies and digging through archives and asking tough questions in interviews. Uh, but we do honor you today uh, because your accomplishments have enriched our lives and reveal something about ourselves and about our country. We can never take for granted the flash of insight that comes from watching a great documentary or reading a great memoir or novel or seeing an extraordinary piece of architecture. We can't forget the wonder we feel when we stand before an incredible work of art, or the world of memories we find unlocked with a simple movement or a single note. So the moments you help create, moments of understanding or awe or joy or sorrow, uh, they add texture to our lives. Uh, they are not incidental to the American experience. They are central to it. They are essential to it. So we not only congratulate you this afternoon, uh, we thank you for an extraordinary lifetime of achievement. Uh, I'll just close by telling a tale of something that took place in this house back in 1862. President Lincoln called together a meeting of his cabinet to present them with uh, the Emancipation Proclamation. But uh, that was not the first item on his agenda. This is a little known story. Instead, he began reading out loud from a story from the humorous Artemis Ward. Uh, it was a story called high-handed outrage at Utica. According to one often repeated account, after he finished a chapter, Lincoln laughed and laughed. His cabinet did not. So Lincoln read them another chapter. And they still sat there in stony silence. Finally, he put the book down and he said, uh, gentlemen, why don't you laugh? You need this medicine as much as I do. To be clear, I probably uh, will not be trying this in my cabinet meetings. <laughs> Certainly not if I'm presenting something like the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, but what Lincoln understood <laughs> is that the arts and the humanities aren't just there to be consumed 
and enjoyed whenever we have a free moment in our lives, we rely on them constantly. We need them, like medicine. They help us live. So once again, I want to thank tonight's honorees for creating work that I'm sure would have met President Lincoln's high standards. Uh, in this complicated world and in these challenging times, you've shared a song with us and enhanced the character of our country, and for that we are extraordinarily grateful. It is now my privilege to present these medals to each uh, of the recipients uh, after their citation is read. So, our outstanding military aides, please. The National Medal of Arts recipients, Linda Ronstadt. The 2013 National Medal of Arts to Linda Ronstadt for her one-of-a-kind voice and her decades of remarkable music. Drawing from a broad range of influences, Ms. Ronstadt defied expectations to conquer American radio waves and help pave the way for generations of women artists. <laughs> 